the improvement is actually insane. This is my friend Toby. He doesn't play football. He's never played for a team and never done any proper football training. So I wanted to see with a month of dedicated practice how much improvement he can make. Right, so here's the plan. I'm gonna be doing six tests with Toby. Shooting, dribbling, accuracy, shot power, touch, and keep ups. We're then gonna train and work on these skills over the next month. Then we're gonna repeat the test again and hopefully we'll see a big difference. Right, so let's have a look at some boots for Toby. I feel like we've definitely got to get him something nice. Right, these are some fancy Adidas boots. They might be a bit too flash for someone just starting to play footy. Could go classic black boots. I feel like you can't go wrong with that, but I want something that's going to inspire him a bit more than that. I like them. I think we found the ones. Right. I'll put you some boots, mate. Thank you. Please. They like fit pretty well, actually. How do they feel? <laughs> they're all, they're all right, good there. So Toby got warmed up in his new boots and it was time for the first test. Go for it, mate. I can't do any. <laughs> I'll give you three attempts and we'll take your best score. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> One. His best score for keep ups was five. Next up, shot accuracy. Accuracy challenge, he's gonna have 10 shots in the top left corner. of where all the shots went. I'll compare this to his results at the end of the challenge. Oh. What a touch that was, by the way. Out of 10 attempts, Toby controlled two. Right, next up is shot power. All right, Toby, three shots and we'll take your average score, right? All right. Now the dribbling test, this is gonna be timed, and yeah, we'll see the improvement. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> there we go. I feel like there's a lot of work to be done on this one. I feel like dribbling is probably Toby's worst area, so we'll have to make sure we focus on that a lot in training. And we finish off with 25 shots and take count of how many goals he scores. So obviously you've got to kick it between... The goal is between the... Between... between. <laughs> Not between... <laughs> yeah, obviously between the sticks, but... Between the blue cones where you're going to put the ball just so I can get it on camera. I can like hit it down the middle. Yeah. As you can see, Toby's basic technique wasn't too bad, but there wasn't really any power on the shots. And he said it himself, he's not really aiming anywhere. I can already see some areas that I want to improve on, the way the technique and stuff. So. Yeah. Oh. so after 25 shots, Toby scored zero goals. Right, so that's the shooting test done. And honestly, it was better than I expected. Actually, it gives me more to work with. What did you think of that? Good? I didn't score, so no. Didn't score, so it was bad. Zero goals, but I'm hopeful that by the end of the month, we'll be pretty good at that. So after finishing the test, we got straight into the first training session. And on day one, I mainly wanted to work on the basic shooting technique because there's a few things that I noticed that we could change pretty quickly to make his shots a lot more powerful. If you're going for like a long shot, it's going to be more kind of on this, this area yeah. here. So have a few, just trying to hit it along there that's going to be because you're like leaning down so yeah. just keep on doing it when you hit it you kind of stop after yeah. right once you kick it you want to step through the ball you can just tell with a few small changes there's already a massive improvement to the power and accuracy of the shots yeah i'm super excited for this so much better All right, that's session one done. I'm really happy with the shooting progress, even after just one session, that's good. First session done, how are they feeling, mate, the feet? A bit sore. It's sore here. <laughs> mate, it's a great day for it. Juliet. 
keep keep it always on that left foot like this. Inside, inside. Now, outside when you get to the cone. Out, out, out. Finish. That was good. Back round. Slow it down. Take it easy. Inside. Inside. Nice. Outside. I reckon that was already at least twice as quick as when you did it in the test to start off with. You know what I mean? All right, let's go for it again. Inside. Outside. Nice. Inside. Inside. Outside. Love that. Then you use your right foot to cut it back across. Cut across with the right. There we go. Okay, little touches. Little touches. That was good. I'm happy with that. Now the child is your man. Nice. Every day is like a rolling storm. And he's playing it. Right, that's so much better. <laughs> like so much. Stay until sunrise. You can maybe help find my voice. Tell me nice. everything is all right. Another day, another training session. Let's go. We're gonna do a bit of dribbling and passing here. Let's go. Nice, nice, nice. Straight on. Yep, good. Round the mannequin. Through the curves. Good. Bring it back. Nice. Little touches, little touches. Right foot only, right foot only. Good. Nice. And rest. As well as doing these one-on-one -on -one training sessions, Toby would also be practicing keep-ups in the garden and playing a few games of seven-a-side football just to make sure he's playing as much football as possible. Right, so in today's session, I'm going to be working all on shooting. So I'm going to need this. That's a finish right. There we go. Good finish. Oh my god. Look at this. Been doing a lot of shooting. Right, so the progress is looking really good. Toby's already picking up on everything a lot quicker than I expected. And I think if we did the test again today. He'd already do better, even though we've got quite a few sessions left. This is good stuff. So yeah, it was just a case of more and more training sessions, working on all aspects of his game. Another day, another training session. He even learned a few skills along the way. But then it was time for our final training session before we test his skills and see if he's made any improvement. Wow, it's looking good. Aim for the camera. Good. All right, stop there. Now today is the final results day where we're going to see how much improvement all this practice has made to someone who doesn't play football. From what I've seen training Toby over the last month or so, he's made some really good improvements. So I'm very excited to see how he does. Let's head to the pitch and get the test done. So Toby got warmed up and it was time to get into the first test. All right, first up, keep-ups test. On day one, Toby's best score was five. Good. So Toby more than doubled his score on the keep up test and overall was just a lot more consistent and in control of the ball. Big improvements there. It's been difficult to try in this one, but yeah, we'll see how he does. This test is 10 shots aiming in the top left corner. Then at the end, I'll create a heat map showing where all the shots went. Right, I've not seen the heat map yet, but I feel like that was pretty decent. This is the heat map of Toby's shots. And comparing this to the first day, you can see that there actually is some improvement and the shots are definitely more consistent. Next up, we've got the dribble test. This was Toby's attempt on day one. His time was 11.7 seconds. Let's see what he can do with training. Three, two, one, go. Good. Mate, that was rapid. Over 2.2 seconds quicker than his first attempt, and he looked a lot more in control of the ball. He's definitely made some great improvements on the dribbling front. 
Next up, we've got shot power. On day one, Toby's shot power was 51 miles per hour. Next up, we've got the touch test. Toby got two out of 10 last time. On the first touch test, Toby scored five out of 10, an improvement of three. Now for the final test, shooting. On day one, Toby had 25 shots, but didn't score any goals. <laughs> out for an absolute banger. Toby scored five more goals than on day one. And as you can probably see from those shots, his technique was loads better. Overall, I think this was a really interesting experiment and it just shows that some dedicated practice, even over a short amount of time, can make a really big impact on your game.